Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture is all about working with Hio using command line interface. So in the previous lecture we have seen how to use Hio and execute commands through web UI which is Ambari which was very easy and interactive way to work with the Hio. You just have to submit the commands through the web UI itself and you don't need to pass any parameters to run some basic commands where we have worked with our ratings and movies data and also we have created different tables and loaded data into it and also use some join condition to get meaning out of our raw data. So this lecture we will focus on working with Hive through command line interface. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing first, just load up your cluster. So I have already kept it in a running position to save some time. So just start your cluster and wait for all the services to be up and running. Okay, so I hope your cluster is, is up and running and all the services are running well without any issues. So now you have to open the putty to open the terminal to communicate with the cluster. So just open putty and I hope you have saved the session for maria underscore dev. If not, the credentials are maria underscore dev at the rate localhost and the port is 2222. So just open it and as you already know, the password would be maria underscore dev okay so after logging in to get into the hive shell you have to just give like hive and hit enter and that's it and now let the cluster do their work and load the hive for us it will take some time and that's it you are in your hive shell right now so this notifies the hive shell and here you can run all your hive ql commands so first, let me just show you how many databases are present in Hive. So for that, just you show command. So give show databases, enter. And these are the two databases which are present in our Hadoop cluster. So first is default and the second one is foodmart. So to use any of the database, you have to use use command. So give use and we will select foodmart, which comes by default when we deployed our Hortonworks sandbox. So just use it. And to get the table details, you have to give like show tables. And these are the tables which are present in our Foodmart database. So I hope you already know the basics of SQL and you're able to run simple SQL queries because HiveQL is very similar to SQL and all of the basic commands such as DDL, DML and DCL are similar to SQL. So you will not face any difficulties with this tutorial. So for example, we will just select the data from any of this table. So as the select is used for fetching the data, we will use like select star from employee and we will use limit clause to further limit down the rows which will be populated to the console. So we will just fetch the file records for now. Yeah, so this is the data which is present in our default employee table, which is again present in the Foodmart database. But for this tutorial, we will be creating a table called as rating. We will define the schema according to the data file we have, which is ratings.data. And again, we will load that data into our table and run some aggregation functions to get the meaning out of our data. So for that purpose, let me just show you the data which we need to load in our table. So this is the data file which is ratings.data which we are dealing from the start of this Hadoop tutorial. And I hope you are already familiar with it. So this is the user ID, movie ID, rating and the timestamp. So these are the four columns which are delimited by tab. So for this, we have to first load this data into our sandbox, then we can create a hive table and we can load this data into our table. So first thing first, we will just load that data. So I have already uploaded it into the git. So to get that, we will just use the wget command. So for the first step, we will just load the data in our virtual box. So for that, we have to use the wget command. So first we will just get out from this hive shell. So just give quit semicolon. And here you can use the wget command now. So use wget. So I will suggest you to follow along with me to get the better understanding about how you and how you can use it to get meaning out of the big data. HTTPS colon slash slash 
raw dot github user content dot com my username which is Ashay Patil eleven slash Hadoop which is our repository and the branch which is main slash ratings dot data which is our data file. So don't worry, I'll be giving this command in the description below so you can just copy and paste it for your future reference. So if everything looks good, just hit enter. And that's it. Our file has been loaded. So if you hit ls command, we have our ratings.data file in our sandbox. So the first step is completed. So we have loaded the data into our sandbox. So now we have to get into the hive shell where we can create a new database and we'll create a ratings table so that we can load this ratings.data file into our table. So for that again, just go to the hive shell, give hive. Yeah, so we are in our hive shell right now. So for this tutorial, we will be making a new database, which is movies. So for that, you have to use the DDL, which is data definition language command known as create. So for that, just you give create database for creating the database and you can give if not exist so that if the database is already present, it will not throw an error. So it is very useful if you are executing a file. So if the database is already present, it will not throw an error so that the subsequent commands will be succeeded and our job will not fail. So for self side, I'll be using if not exist and the database name. So our database name for this will be movies. So it will create the database if it is not already present. So just hit enter. That's it. It took only three seconds to create a database. So when we give commands such as show databases, now it will show our movies database now. So to create any table in this database, you have to use this database. So for selecting it, you have to give use command. So use movies. Okay, so our database is selected as movies. So now we can create our table. So as you already know, this is our ratings.data file. So for creating in the table, you have to create four columns. So the first column will be the user ID. Second will be the movie ID. Third will be the rating from one to five. And the last one, which is fourth one will be the timestamp. And all these values will have the integer data type. So for creating a table, it is again similar to SQL. Just we need to add some more details for creating a hive table, such as the delimiters and the field separators. We have to use the DDL command, which is again create table, which is used for creating a table, then give the table name. So in this case, our table names will be ratings. And now we can define our columns. So the first column is user ID which is integer. The next one is movie ID, again integer, rating, integer, and the timestamp, which is TS. And the data type is again integer. Just close the bracket. And now we have to define the delimiter as well as the lines and field separators. So for that, we have to give like row format delimited. So this row format delimited means our each record is separated on every row. So our new row will represent the new record. Then we have to give fields terminated by. So as you already know that our fields are terminated by the tab character. So just give like tab. So slash T which defines the tab separator. Then we have to define the lines terminated by slash n. So what it means is our each line has been terminated by the new line. So this slash n means the new line. So if you are familiar with any of the programming language, I hope you already know what the slash n means. And then we have to define the storage type for this table. So there are different storage types for higher tables such as ORC, text file, Avro, Parquet. But for this example, I don't want to make it very complicated. So I will just use the text file for storing data for this table. So I'll just give like stored as text file. That's it. So this is our create command, which will create ratings table according to the data, which we have in our ratings.data file. So if we hit enter, 
that's it our rating table has been created so if we give command like show tables yeah we have our ratings table created in our movies database so if we give like select star from ratings there is nothing there because we haven't loaded the data in our table now so for loading the data into our ratings table we have to use the load data command so as you already know that we have downloaded our file in our sandbox so to load that file into our table you have to use the load data command so we will just simply say like load data and again we have to specify from where that file resides so as you already know that file resides in our local sandbox which is our local linux machine so you have to give local and for that local file we have to specify some path so we have to give in path keyword and then here we need to define that specific path where that file resides so as you already know we have used the duplicate command on the home directory itself so if you have given pwd command it will be like home underscore maria dev which is the user from which we are signing on to our sdb sandbox so the path would be the home slash the username which is maria underscore dev and here we have downloaded our file so the file name is ratings dot data so this is our path and we have to load this data into our ratings table so for that just give like into table and the table name is as you know ratings that's it so what this command will do is so it will load the data from our local file which is ratings dot data into our recently created ratings table where we have defined the schema as per the file which we are using for this example which is ratings dot data so if you hit enter so as you can see it was pretty fast and it only took 1.69 seconds and as per my knowledge that ratings dot data will contain around 10000 records so it was pretty quick so if we just now select the data from ratings table so for this we will just limit it for 5 as you can see now the data has been present in our ratings table you can also check the number of records present in your table for that you have to use the aggregate function count for it so you can just simply give like select count of all the records from the table name which is ratings if you submit this command so as you can see you can see this the mapper and reducer function so this query is getting converted into the mapper and reducer function and you can see the status here so here the map and reducer functions are working to get the desired output and as you can see our table is containing around 1 lakh of record so I was wrong I thought like it will be 10,000 but it is actually 1 lakh records present in our ratings table and it only took hardly some seconds to load this huge data in our table so this will show you the real power of Hadoop so you can also use the command such as describe command to get the metadata for the table so you give describe ratings so this is the metadata of the table so we have the four columns user id movie id rating and timestamp and the data types are int for all the fields so i hope you got a clear idea how we can use hive through the hive shell and submit the commands and get the desired output as we need here we have created a database then we have created a, our table and we have loaded some data into it by using the load data command and we have given some aggregation commands and describe to get the metadata of the table but now what if we have a hive sql script which contains multiple queries step by step and you have to submit that file that also we can do by using the hyphen f parameter on hive command so before moving to that just first do the cleanup activity so for it we will just simply get the drop database command to drop the entire database so our database name is movies but let me tell you that this command will be getting some error so if you hit enter you can see that execution error and the execution error is 
database movies is not empty one or more table exists because our database contains ratings table which we have created and loaded data into it so for dropping the database you have to first delete that table so you have two approaches here so either you can just put drop table command to our table to drop the table and then use drop command to drop the database or else you have just simple way to give cascade after your drop database statement so this cascade will first delete all the tables and then delete the database in one go so for that just give like drop database movies and give like cascade if you execute it that's it our entire database including table has been deleted so when we give show databases as you can see we only have our two default databases so for our next example i have just created one sql script so that we can execute this entire script in one go so what we are doing is we are dropping the database movies first if it exist then we will create our database and we are pass if not exist so that it will not throw an error and our execution will be continuing after that we'll use use command to select the movies database and then we are creating ratings table it is similar to what we have seen before some time again we will load the data in it and we will run some simple commands to it such as describe the count and at the last we will get the number of occurrence for each ratings so to do that what we are doing is we will be selecting the rating the count of rating which is aggregation function and we are giving the column alias as total occurrences we will be fetching this from ratings table and we will be grouping it according to the rating so that we will get the five rows for five ratings which is 1 to 5 and we will order by on total occurrences in the descending order so that highest rating occurrences will be getting first so if you want to submit it through the hive shell you have to submit these commands one by one which is not useful and feasible in the production environment so for that purpose what we'll do is we will save all these commands in one file and then execute it by passing the hyphen f parameter so i have already uploaded this sql script into our hadoop repository so the script name is ratings_hive.sql and these are the steps which we discussed just now so to download that file so first we need to download this file in our sandbox so that we can execute it through hive command so to get that file first we need to get out from this hive shell so give quit semicolon and then clear to clear this mess up yeah and you can use the wget command again so give wget https colon slash slash raw dot github user content dot com slash username which is ashay patil 11 slash hadoop slash main slash and the file name so our script name is ratings underscore hive dot sql so i'll be giving this command as well in the below description so just check for the typing error and give enter as you can see our file has been downloaded so if we hit ls our ratings.data file which we downloaded earlier is present along with the ratings_hive.sql so this is very straight forward now we just need to use the hyphen f parameter along with our hive command to submit this file in our hadoop cluster to do that just give like hive space hyphen f so that we are telling hive that we are giving hive script now and we have to give the path for our ratings underscore hive dot sql script so again the path is home mari underscore dev and the script name which is ratings underscore hive dot sql and hit enter and let the hive do its work so what it does is for each and every query it will create a map reduce job and execute it on our hadoop cluster so it will make the use of yarn sdfs and map reduce which are core services so as you can see each and every query is getting submitted and executed one by one so as you can see 
that's it it hardly took 10 seconds to complete whole execution let us check that one by one so first it created the database then selected it and then it created the table and this is showing as loading data to the table movies dot rating so it is just it loaded the table and it hardly took one and a half second to complete then we have given the describe command so it is getting the metadata then it ran the count on that table and similarly our count is again 1 lakh 3 and we have submitted some query to get the number of occurrences for each rating so as i suspected the fourth rating was very popular so which means the people are really generous for giving the ratings to any film and the least popular is the one rating so this aggregation and order by hardly took two and a half seconds so it is way more efficient for such big data file which has one lakh of records so i hope you got a clear idea how we can use hive shell to submit hive queries through command line and also how we can submit a sql script by passing the hyphen f parameter to our hive command so this was just an introductory part to hive so from the next tutorial we will be learning about pig and spark which are again used for data processing on top of Hadoop. So I'll suggest you to explore more about Hive and practice it on your own to get better understanding. So I hope you like this lecture. So please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.